Hey good lookins, oh it's kickins, on the last episode of Pokemon, which was ages ago, I asked you to guess what Pokemon I had drawn. And the answer was of course, Lord Helix, we must praise the Helix, the dome will fall, hail Helix! Uh, uh, um, uh, that was weird, sorry, I don't know what came over me there. The answer was of course, Omanyte! So here we go, we're outside the Pokemon Center, we have just beat the second gym with our awesome team, they all did an amazing job. I thought what I'd do today, if you guys haven't seen the Twitch Plays Pokemon stream, what they do on that is they take inputs from the chat and the whole chat tries together to beat the game of Pokemon. So today we're doing YouTube Plays Pokemon, where in the comments below, tell me a direction or a button to press and the computer will handle it all for me and we'll see if we can get to the Elite Four. So take it away YouTube comments. Take it away, YouTube comments. I just realised the fatal flaw in that plan, in that I won't see the comments until after this video is recorded. So, <laughs> so ignore that. We just pretend that I'm getting inputs. Oh, was that up, down, left, right, up, start, A, B? Oh, you're going all over the place. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, that's so... There we... Okay, let's play normally now. So we are heading north today. We have beat the second gym. We've totally nailed this town. Our team is looking awesome. But we need to do a bit more training before we hit the third gym. So hopefully this route will offer us lots of cool opportunities to level up our dudes. So men here trail. And we've got a trainer here. So we'll go straight into our first trainer battle in quite a while. And hopefully our team is still on their top form. This place is flowing with power. I often come here to recharge. Psychic Robert, who has a Zolosis. <laughs> Good Teep. Now I've taught some of my team some new moves occasionally. Uh, I think Teep has, he has Rock Tomb, which is a move that we won from that second gym. So hopefully this will be awesome. It has the same type attack bonus, so it should do a decent chunk. Wow, that was a decent chunk. Look out for the hidden power. Don't know what hidden power that is. Whatever it was, it was super effective, but you're going to take it out with this rock team, so NP. Good job, Teep. We've got the XP share back on as well, so all our team will be training up together. There we go. Ooh, double slap. Jigglypuff doing loads of slaps. Jigglypuff doing loads of slaps. I've forgotten it evolved. Oh wait, no, because I taught it strength, because that would be useful. I don't really want to lose any of those, so we'll keep it as it is. There we go. So there we go. We are back in the swing of things. Wow, you and your Pokemon's power levels are incredible. They're over 9,000 for sure. <laughs> Was that a Dragon Ball reference? Oh my gosh, that's... Really funny, <laughs> Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball. So we beat that trainer. Um, let's carry on down Route Ten, the men here trail. I think that was what it was called. We got another trainer. They're just stones, right? So we appear to be going into some kind of stone place with stones there's a tourist checking it out who has a skip plume that is the pre-evolved form of Jumpluff who is one of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 2. Little fact for you there. So you can use a rock tomb again because it's flying type I think or you can go to sleep that's fine we'll switch you out buddy we'll get another guy in here we go Right, who are we going to use? We're going to use a... Let's get a shoe out. We haven't seen him in a while. We're back in the swing of Pokemon, so we might as well go with our big mascot for the series. Shoe the Quilladin. Take him out, Shoe. I know you can do it. Look out for Fairy Wind. Ah, that did nothing. You're cool. You're cool. It's only level 19 anyway. So you now know Need Alarm. So we use that. There we go. So, that was good. <laughs> How about instead you use a rollout, because that's a rock move. 
Much better. There we go. I knew you could do it, Shu. We're just getting back into the swing of things. You might mess up a little bit and use needle arm on a gas type. <laughs> there we go. Much better. You landed a critical hit because it's so in sync with my wishes. You're the best, you. We still got that bond after all this time. In fact, I say our bond is only growing stronger. <laughs> Ooh, a Dunsparce. Okay, this is a... I, uh, I'm actually kind of annoyed that they didn't make Dunsparce into a fairy type. I thought that would have been appropriate because it's kind of a mythical creature. Anyway, we're going to use Puck. Because it's a normal type, I think, we're going to use a fighting move on it. Here we go. So, brick break! There we go. That's awesome. Good job, Puck. We've got everyone levelling up. I think they're all 25 or above now, so we have a very good team here. Now, this is a fairy type, I think. They changed that. So, this is now a water fairy, I believe. I don't really have... We'll just use a brick break again. I don't think it's very effective against fairy types, but it's good. We know that now. And that was just a test of the fighting system in Generation 6. How about use a swagger, try and get it confused, and then we'll switch out to someone else. Man, you got swag, Puck. Ah, oh, I thought it would hit itself. That's fine. You can tank that. There we go. He's still confused, so we can switch you out into who will be good against a water fairy. I still haven't quite learnt the whole new fairy thing, and I don't know what they're really weak to. Not dragons, I know that for sure. So we won't send Teep out. Oh, I snapped out of the confusion already. Oh well. How about we try a dark type attack and see what that does against fairies. Here we go. Okay, that's not very effective either. So I think dark and fighting are not very effective against it. That are coming useful. There's a fairy gym. We know that our team is actually kind of rubbish against those. Um, <laughs> but we get there. We're doing training right now. We'll get there. You're going to finish off, off with this bite anyway. No, you're not. It used defense curl. <laughs> you toughed it out to show your best side. Ah. Oh. And you took it out with the rocky helmet. You're awesome. You're in there, bub. You're still in there. It's fine. And you're level 27 now. Wow, I have been away from Pokemon for ages. That was a really messy fight. We we have some serious training to do, you guys. We need to... We're going to take on the Elite Four and be the champion one day. And we're not going to do it in this condition. So, come on. Focus, Zoe. Focus, everybody. We can do this. Right, let's carry on with the rest of Route 10. We're going to switch out into another Pokemon up front for the next battle. Who are we going to use? I think we get Birdface in. Birdface didn't do so well in that gym because it was a rock-type gym. But we'll see what you can do against these trainers. Here we go, Birdface. Ah, oh, so this is like a sort of Stonehenge-style thing. Oh, it's a Team Flare member. Stop right there. I remember you. You're the one who foiled our fossil-finding plans. And now you're here, standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? I don't, actually. <laughs> of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says... Wait, what does it say? Oh, whatever. Who cares about all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. Or flair. <laughs> okay, so it's a Team Flare grunt again. But if this is one of the same guys we took out in the fossil cave, we should be fine. Hound hour. Good bird face, I know you can do it. Right, we're gonna use a we're gonna use area lace, you know that now, so that'd be cool. Nice! That was crazy. <laughs> the health just like disappeared. Ah, oh, she's level 27 too. We are really moving up in the world. And you got a gold bat. Actually we're gonna keep you in bird face, you need as much XP as you can after that, Jim. Here we go. Use an ember. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
God, I must be incredibly tired of messing up all the matchups and the super effectives. Whatever, roll with it. Here we go. Go for an aerial ace again. Ah, oh, that is decent damage. Okay, well I'm glad you know Aerial Ace now because it seems like you are going to kick some serious goal butt. <laughs> go, go butt. It's, it's called go butt. Uh, I changed it slightly. Wordplay! Good job, Birdface! And you're level 27 too. This is awesome. I'm feeling pumped now. We're back in the swing of things. We're back kicking butt. Oh, I'm Razor Wind. Okay, what does that do? Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. What does Razor Wind do? <laughs> Okay, it's a normal type. Two turn attack. Blades of Wind hit opposing Pokemon on the second turn. Uh, I think we're going to keep quick attack. I think that'll be more useful. So we go with that. There we go. But yeah, we've got loads of XP. We've got loads of levels. We've got loads of new moves. We're going to do this. I'm feeling it. We are going to get to the Elite Four. And we are going to... We are going to nail it. There we go. My signature celebratory fist pump there. So we beat up another Team Flare guy. What the? How could I lose again to a little punk like you? What are you, some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Yeah, I'm gonna be the champion one day. Believe it. I see. Roger that. Heh, <laughs> gotta love the holocaster. I can get updates on my mission in real time with this stylish device. Whoever thought this thing up must have been one truly stylish individual. And on that note, it's time for me to scram with style. Or flare. <laughs> okay, so Team Flare seem to be a bit more prominent now that we've moved up in the game world. They are go getting up to some shady business. We stopped them in the Fossil Cave, but it seems like this won't be the last time we're encountering them. So here's another one. Come on, Bearface, you can do this. Can't you see we adults are busy? Don't interrupt our work, kid. An electric. Ah, oh, it's an electric type. It's not the best thing for you, Birdface, but we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna see what happens. It's kind of lower level than you, so you should be able to take a hit. You do get the stab bonus from all the moves you have, so that's good. So do another ember, and then we can finish it off with a quick attack, hopefully. There we go. He's just leering at you, so you're fine, actually. If it had actually used an electric move, you might have been in some trouble, but... There we go. Good job, Birdface. What's it sending out next? A crow gunk. Okay. We'll keep you in, because you are going to do some serious damage against that. Here we go. Use an ember. That's nice. One more. And take it out with this ember. And we're golden. Good job, Birdface. There we go. We're doing this. We haven't we haven't fainted a Pokemon in this episode, so that's progress. That's good. Well, if that's how you're gonna be, I'll just stop working. Humph. Yay, fist pump. Those Team Flare guys don't actually seem to be that much of a threat. I have taken them out pretty easily, actually. So where are we going? Oh, we've got some more Team Flare guy up here. We could sneak past him and go over here. Here we go. Ah, oh, and we fight this person instead. Here we go. So this is a famous sightseeing spot, apparently. To me, it just looks like a bunch of rocks, but I'm sure there's some significance. <laughs> Drifloon! The Ghost Balloon. Here we go. Right, we're going to switch you out again, Birthface. We're going to get all of our guys involved. Who haven't we used? We haven't used Zoe Zozo Jr., so here we go. Although it's a ghost type. I didn't think that through. But, <laughs> but you do know Shadow Ball, so that'll be good. Da! Da! Oh, it's fine. You're beefy. You're tanky. So use the Shadow Ball. It should be super effective. Unless it gusts you. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> Just a light breeze that was, and that is so much more. Good job, Zoe Zozo Jr. And you can finish it off with another Shadow Ball, as that's the only move that will actually hit it. 
Ooh. I, d I didn't care that you look really creepy and haunted when you're doing that because it's super effective and that's awesome. A hippopotamus. A hippopotamus. There we go, the hippopotamus Pokemon. You can use your other moves now, so take it out with a strength. Show them your moves. Nice! That was decent. Should be able to get it out with one more. And you're going to take the hit. And you're still in there and everything's awesome. Everything's cool when you're part of this team. Everything is awesome. There we go, we took out the Hippopopopus. Loads of XP. Loads of XP. There we go. Oh, we still got a Pachirisu. I didn't think they had one more Pokemon. You can take out this one too, Zoe 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 Junior. Right, use a use a strength again. Here we go. It's gonna endure the hit, but that's fine. Just means you'll take it out in two moves instead of one. Although that wouldn't be the case anyway, so. <laughs> so finally, one more strength and we've got it. Oh, it's nuzzling you! Oh, that's adorable! It is also electrocuting you at the same time, which is less adorable, but still adorable. And we did it! Good job! Diddly ding! Wow, you're level 27 too. Everyone is totally awesome right now. I am feeling this. Water pulse as well. I keep accidentally pressing the wrong thing. <laughs> so you're gonna forget, I guess it's time. Hmm. I don't know, I don't really want to forget Bubble because that's your signature move, but well, that's only a power 40 and that is a power 60, which is much, much more. So we're gonna do that. There we go. You still have your water move, Bub, so it's all fine. There we go. Water pulse. Bear face leveling up to you. Keep leveling up to you. Everyone is leveled up this time. Ancient power. Oh my gosh. It's a rock move. It's a 60. But rock tomb does 60 as well. So we'll probably just keep that. That's fine. And we defeated the tourist. So I have no idea what all these stones are about. I have no idea what the purpose of that route was. But it doesn't matter because we're now into this next town. We are now in... Geosend Town. Here we go, and we got the Pokemon Center. So that was quite an effort to get through Route 10 there. We messed up quite a bit. I'm still <laughs> I still have no idea how to take out fairies, even though we have one of our own on our team, but we get there. We'll learn it. We're still new in our journey, relatively speaking. Only got two badges so far. We're gonna get better. We're gonna take out the Elite Four with me and my awesome team. Thank you ever so much for watching me today. I hope to see you again. <laughs> Catch you next time. You're awesome. Bye everybody! <laughs> Who's that Pokemon on the screen right there that I've drawn? Who is it? I don't know. I've forgotten. You'll have to tell me and then we'll find out next time. <laughs>